Now, I know, I know that sounds crazy, right? You're saying, wait, 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 wait. What? Growing closer to God can actually lead to a sense of distance from Him? Hello, welcome to the Simple Not Shallow Podcast. My name is Charles, and this here is the Coffee Side Chat Series. Well, so named because of this beautiful cup of coffee sitting on the counter right beside me. And we are coming to you from the very hallowed halls of my kitchen university. The kitchen countertop. What better place to stand, talk, laugh, and learn together while sipping on this beautiful cup of coffee. Hmm. I do hope you have one with yourself as we are talking. Now, let me ask you a question. Have you ever felt as if God had withdrawn from you? You know, as a Christian person, somebody who already believes, having felt very close to Him at times, now... It seems God has removed himself. He's nowhere to be seen. You know, what's up with that? That's what we're going to talk about in this episode. And yes, we are going to look at this through the lens of what it means to be a Christian, which is a following of Christ, right? That involves a relationship leading to a studentship, leading to a life lived from everything learned, all three, all together, all at once, never one or the other, but all in balance. Now, in looking into this, I have discovered two suggestions that I'd like to share for your consideration. Now, I do know there probably are many more, and if you know of some, please leave them in the comments. I'd love to hear what you have to say. So, anyway, now, if you're like me, the very first thing you want to do is go to the Bible, right? To see if there'd been we'd been given any direction on this. To see, you know, if God has told us what to expect if he was to be withdrawing from us and remaining distant. You know, if the Bible is God's word, it should tell us something about it, right? Well, this is interesting. The very first thing that I found was a passage in which God tells us that he has made his home in us, inside of us. And then I found one where God promises never to leave or forsake us. Well, so it seems that in very uncertain terms, God has said he has not removed himself from us, though we sure feel like it from time to time. So, So far, we've seen that God is still there, right? He's inside of us. He'll never leave and forsake us. So he is always right where he has always been. Well, since this is true, perhaps we can see that it is our feelings, while very needed and useful in some times, some applications, they're not exactly the best source of ultimate truth. For God does love us and is with us, whether we feel that way or not. Okay, so with that being established then, we can still ask, well, what's going on? For this sense of disconnect is still very, very, very real, right? Okay, well, I think time has come for me to offer my first of my two suggestions. And the suggestion is this. Since God has not withdrawn from us, perhaps it is that we have withdrawn from Him, that we've turned away and walked away from Him. Now, 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 stay with me just a moment. See, I actually found this idea in the book of Isaiah. Isaiah 59, verse 2, where we are told that our own sins can hide God from us. What we choose to do can put us in a position not 
to see God's presence, not to be aware that he is there. How is that possible? Well, I mean, it seems to me that if we have turned our backs to him and walked away from him in order to pursue our own likes, desires, and understandings, you know, be that in the religious realm or non-religious realm, then it makes sense that he would seem hidden from us, does it not? I mean, because with our backs to him, he is no longer before our eyes. How can we see what is not in front of us? But, but, what if, upon our own self-examination, we find that that isn't the problem? Indeed, what if we find, after we've looked at things and said, well, you know, it's not that I've turned and walked away. I have been growing in my relationship with God, and he seems to vanish. Well, what happened? What's that about? Well, I found something that could be an example of this happening in Matthew, Mark, and Luke. And I'm quite excited by it, to be truthful with you. See, what if, what if the feeling of God being hidden from us is actually a sign of your relationship growing with him? Now, I know, I know that sounds crazy, right? You're saying, wait, 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 what? Growing closer to God can actually lead to a sense of distance from him? Well, follow me here for just a second. See, what if God, who has been holding you by the hand as he has taken you through a very tough lesson, a very big period of growth, is now saying to you, All right. All right. Now you have learned and gotten stronger. Time for you to show me what you got there, pal. It's time for you to live out what you have learned. You know, take a few steps on your own. And then he lets go of our hand and allows us to do what we can do, what we've been trained for, what he has prepared us for. You know, kind of like he did in Matthew, Mark, and Luke when he sent the disciples out two by two to do what he had taught. And here's another good illustration. Well, I would like to offer it anyway. I think it's good. And that is the training of a toddler to walk. Now, at first, you know, the parent of the child will need to hold both of the infant's hands as he is learning to take his few, few first tentative steps, right? But soon, only one hand is needed to be held to help give a little bit extra balance. And soon, before you know it, the time arrives when the parent must let go of both hands or the child will never learn to walk on its own. Now, even then, you know, the parent is close by to come to the child's aid if need be. For a loving parent never says, All right. You've taken a few steps. You're on your own, kid. I'm headed out. Keep up if you can. That just doesn't happen. Also, you know, we wouldn't think it a very good thing for an otherwise very healthy child to never learn to walk without holding on to the parent's hand, would we? A child must learn to walk by himself before he can ever learn to run. And so, too, with us and God. If he never let go of our hands from time to time, we would never grow into the healthy, fully mature adults he wants us to be. See, letting go of our hands of direct and obvious support from time to time is not about leaving us alone. Rather, it, it is a demonstration of his love for us of his encouraging us to do what we can do and thereby helping us grow even stronger. Hmm. What a beautiful realization that is. Anyway, put that in your toolkit. Now, as I've said, I know there's going to be other answers as to why we might feel isolated from God. Please 
Take a moment and share any that you have in the comment section. And as always, please let me know if you agree or disagree with my thoughts on this. And please do me the honor of sharing why. Don't just say, you're wrong, screwball. Tell me why I'm wrong. For that is how conversations begin. And I'd love to converse with you all about this. And who knows? Perhaps we might both even grow in, in our relationship with Christ because of it. And we may become friends in the process. And that would be a beautiful thing. Well, until next time, take it easy, take it slow, and may coffee into your cup always flow. Yeah.